first of all i have to call the function rev summ and i'm going to pass the number which the user has given to me and i have stored it in num that i have passed it on and now i need to store the i need to get whatever is the return from this whatever is the return from this i need to store it and then put it across okay so what does this function when i call what does it return for me it returns for me rev comma s it returns reverse and s is it possible for me to access two variables which means it is returning me two things how do i store it sir how do i store it i can store it into one variable okay how do i store it no you can store it in two variables itself over here i can itself say i can store the returning parameters in two variables let me call it as r comma s i will say r comma s so if i say r comma s can i say when i say r comma s is rev sum of num and this is going to be the r is going to contain the reverse and the s is going to contain the sum all i need to do is print print the reverse of the number the reverse of the number is is what is r and i need to print okay the 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 sum of the digits of the number is is what is is Okay, if that is the case, let me just save it out. Let me run this. Okay, it tells me invalid syntax. Oh, I'm so sorry. I need to put a comma after this. Okay, so I'm going to have function f5. Going to save it. Enter a three-digit number. What is a three-digit number? Let me say 846. When I say 846, it tells me the reverse of the number is 648. And the sum of digits of the number is eight plus four, that is twelve. Twelve plus six, that is eighteen. Oh, that's right. So that's how you can get, you can call a particular function, and you can get, you can get values back from the function. You can return more than one parameters from the function. For that, this particular example was used to understand it. Remember, for IoT, when you're developing Python programs. you are going to call multiple functions your page is going to your your script is either going to be filled with many functions or it's going to have many functions being called from other python files or packages we are going to have a lot of functions being called when you are going to call functions you need to know the syntax of the functions really well to to get the to get the flow of your program really well understanding functions in python and understanding how to pass parameters and how to get default parameters if nothing is passed can i say my default parameter can i just define a default parameter say 100 if i said or let me say i'm just going to pass it as 151 okay so if i say 151 reverse of sum that is 151 or let me say 152 okay so if i have a default parameter defined in my function and if i call the rev sum okay if i call the rev sum okay so i need to call this particular thing enter a three digit number okay it is telling me to enter a three digit number so when i enter a three digit number say it is 846 when i say it for or let me say 840 859 it's going to return for me 958 and the sum of the digits is 22 But sir, that function is already defined. I can call the function here itself because the function is already defined. So I, let me call the function. Let me call the function rev sum. Okay, it says okay. It already has a default parameter one fifty two. What if I pass four fifty nine? What if I pass four fifty nine? It says nine fifty four comma eighteen. It returns for me the reverse and the sum of digits. But sir, what if I could do something like this? What if I just call rev sum? I explained to you already. It is going to take the default parameter of one fifty two. It is going to reverse that one fifty two as two fifty one, and it's going to take the sum. So hope you understand how to have how to have default parameters, how to return two values, how to store them, and how to print two values separately. is that clear okay but now there is one more thing which i want to explain to you okay what if i wanted to print both of these in the same line the reverse of the sum is r and the sum of the digits of the number is s i wanted to print these two things together how will i do it 
is it possible for me to write it like a simple you know straightforward line and i would just be able to you know just put in the variable somewhere in between i just the sum of the reverse of the number is this and the sum of the digits of the number is this okay so if i could get the entire string together instead of putting this commas and all that okay is it possible for me to do that yes it is very much possible how do i do it okay so the reverse of the number is i can say what it is going to be it is the reverse of the number is a variable what is that variable r but that r is nothing but an integer it is nothing but an integer i just need to say okay you just the reverse of the number is and i need to tell the string to insert a variable in between this but that variable is going to be digit it's going to it's going to be a digit person d it's going to be a digit and and of course and person is person d and the sum of the digits of the number of the number is stored where is is what is is another is another integer can i say that i can say it as person d once again i'll say person d and then i after writing down that the reverse the number is person d and the sum of the digits the number is person d over here you need to also say which variables you need to insert in place of percent which means in this place of person d you need to return, you need to insert r in this place of person d you need to return s which means it should be in order so after completing your double quotes you need to say percent percent what comma what you should say percent r comma s these two variables i need to insert of course i'm going to run this out and after running it out it's going to be enter a three digit number and it's going to be saying okay so i'll just say over here 856 when i enter 856 it says the reverse of the number is 658 and the sum of the digits of the number is 19 so do you understand how we can format a string using person d okay is that clear let's understand formatting a string in uh, more in more detail in the next lecture thank you